how do I find products to dropship on the Facebook marketplace and not just any products, but the products that will sell will make us some profit because that is what we are here to do at the end of the day. This is the product that I want to add to my store. One of the products that I want to add, I know that it's trending hot right now. I know that people are not selling it on the Facebook marketplace. So I'm definitely going to get these sales and enjoy the profits from that. What I'm going to do next is make sure that I've got the Facebook dropshipping helper extension installed. This is a Chrome extension. It doesn't cost any money. All you need to do is download and install it to your Chrome browser. So back to the bug zapper. I want to add it to my Facebook marketplace store. There are a couple ways to do it. The first one is to click on the import to AutoDS button. This button over here will always be on top of the product titles inside the product pages. And the reason I'm seeing that is because I also have the AutoDS dropshipping helper Chrome extension installed. So that is another Chrome extension that will help you while you are dropshipping. So we've got two extensions overall, the Facebook dropshipping helper extension and the AutoDS dropshipping helper extension. Each is responsible for its own tasks. So in this case, one extension is giving me this button over here. That's the AutoDS Chrome dropshipping helper extension. And the other extension will simply help me copy the products to the Facebook marketplace. So one way to import this product is by clicking on this button and that will simply add this product to the draft section of my AutoDS store. And then through AutoDS, I will import it to the Facebook marketplace. That is a simple way to do it. The other way to do it is to copy the buy URL or ID. Make sure that you've got your Facebook marketplace account active on AutoDS. Let me show you how you can do that so that you can really automate your store, add products in just a couple of minutes instead of taking much more time than that. And also automating your price and your stock monitoring so that if something goes out of stock on your supplier side, the product will also go out of stock on your Facebook Marketplace store. And if there are any price changes, the price will also change accordingly on your Facebook Marketplace store and on your AutoDS account. This is a must for anyone who wants to have lots of listings without refreshing their suppliers pages every day to see what's going on with the stock and the prices. Those people who really want to scale and make great profits, it cannot be done without automation. So this is how it is done. First, let's head to the AutoDS platform. If you don't have an AutoDS account, simply head to autods.com register for your account, get your one week for only $1, give it a try and see if you guys like it. I'm sure that you're going to like what you see, especially when you learn how to drop ship the right way. So first things first is you want to make sure that you have your Facebook marketplace subscription active. So once you're inside, click on settings on the left side, then go to plans and add ons. And here, make sure that the Facebook marketplace plan is active. Once you do that on the left side, once again, on top, click on your stores or click on add store if you don't have any stores yet. Then click on add store right over here and you'll have an option, an eBay store, Shopify store or a Facebook store. In this case, we are going with the Facebook selling channel. So click on Facebook store, enter your store's name and I won't do it now because I already connected my store, but just continue with the setup process. It's actually very simple. And once your store is added, you'll be able to see it right here on the left side. So again, I'm going to click on my stores and I've got my store right over here. So this is exactly how you're going to add your Facebook store right after you add the Facebook Marketplace plan. Once you do that, you can start adding products through AutoDS and then simply upload it to the Facebook Marketplace. Let me show you how that is done. So what I'm going to do is simply take this whole URL up here and copy it. Then I'm going to head back to AutoDS and click on add products. Here I can start adding products to my Facebook Marketplace account on AutoDS. It will not affect my Facebook Marketplace store just yet. So here I can simply paste that by URL or ID that I just copied. So that is another way to add products here. I can add it as a draft and that is the same as simply clicking on the import to AutoDS button here. The product will simply land in the drafts page. So here, make sure that you're publishing to the right store. So if you have multiple stores, click on the pencil icon and click only the relevant store that you want to add this product to. Then make sure that the supplier settings down here are correct. In the advanced options, I will not allow out of stock variation. So if something is out of stock, there is no reason to add it. There is also no reason to upload variations because it is not supported on the Facebook marketplace just yet. We don't need to autofill the brand. That's it. So in this case, I'm not going to accept any advanced options and I'm going to add this product to my draft page. So let's click on add as draft. Now it's being added as a draft. Click here to track the progress. So let's give it a couple of seconds to add that product to the draft page. I can click here on view details and check out the upload process, the import process how long it's going to take to complete. So let's just give it a couple of seconds and see what happens. Okay, now the process is complete. As we can see here, 
this product that we just got from Amazon or from any supplier that you chose is now complete, which means it is on our drafts page. So let's exit here and head over to the drafts page on AutoDS. So here we go. This is the bug zapper. And as you see, we are on the draft page right now. So what I'm going to do now is click on this arrow to open up the item editor. And here I'm going to start editing this product, start optimizing it so that it will look good on the Facebook marketplace. First, I do want to touch and optimize the product's title. So I'm going to delete the brand name and keep only whatever is relevant. So I know that I have up to 100 characters here and right now I'm on 155. So let's narrow it down a little bit, cut down some words that we just might not have to use. So here we have a good optimized title for this product. The keywords are good, they're relevant. So the first thing that I'm going to pay attention to here is the product's title. I can also optimize it on Facebook, but it'll be much easier and better to do it from AutoDS first. Next, we've got the product's description. This one we're going to optimize on the Facebook marketplace anyway, because we're probably going to have some spacing issues over there. So let's skip that for now, or you can go ahead and edit it if you want. But in any case, we are going to have to optimize it through Facebook anyway. So here we're going to click on save to save our changes so far. Now here we've got the variance and this is what you need to pay attention to. AutoDS is going to get all of the information from the product's variance and copy that onto the Facebook marketplace. Let me show you what I mean. So we're going to click on edit on the variance and in the variance settings, you're going to have the pricing settings and the general settings for this variant. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. In the pricing settings, you have the fees, which is how much Facebook is taking from each transaction. And the answer to that is 5%. Let's talk about that one really quick. So for every transaction that you're going to get on the Facebook marketplace for every sell, Facebook is going to take either 40 cents or 5% from the transaction price, whichever one is higher. And as you can see here in the screenshot in front of me, I took this from one of the products that I sold on the Facebook marketplace, which cost $2. So in this case, 5% was not as high as 40 cents. So in this case, Facebook took 40 cents, but as you can see, the selling fee is either 5% or a 40 cent minimum. In most cases, we're going to pass the 40 cent value. So we're going to get charged 5% for every transaction that we have on the Facebook marketplace. So that is our break even settings. So let's head back to AutoDS. And as you see here, the fees are correct. So in this case, if we're paying Facebook 5%, we want to make another 15% profit on top of that. So a product that costs $36.99, which is the case for that bug zapper, we're going to have to sell it for $44.78 in order to make a profit of $5.55, which is a 15% profit margin from the original price. Now AutoDS is doing all these calculations by itself, but what you do need to do is make sure that the fees are correct. So you can either edit them here in the edit variance page, or you can go to the settings on AutoDS. So let me exit here for a second, click on settings, and in the store settings, make sure that you have your Facebook store selected. And in the supplier, make sure that the right supplier is also selected. You can add more suppliers if you want to add more supplier settings in advance. So as you see here, we've got all of the 25 suppliers that AutoDS supports today. In this case, I'm going to stick with Amazon because that's where I'm adding this product from. So here I'm telling AutoDS every time I add a product to the Facebook store from Amazon, here are the pricing settings that I want. So I'm going to click on the pricing tab. And as you see here, the fees are 5%, which is exactly what we just saw in the variant settings. Additional profit in percentages, 15%. Additional profit in dollars, you can do that too if you want. And you've got more pricing settings and pricing automation if you want that done for your Facebook Marketplace store. But that is not really relevant for now. Let's go back to the product in the drafts page. Open the editor again. As you can see, the title stayed as I optimized it before. The description too. I'm going to head back to the variants and click on edit. So we saw the pricing settings, everything over there looked good. Then you've got the general settings, which has the item weight, the buy ID from our source, which is Amazon in this case from the United States and so forth. So once again, the only thing that I did up until now was get a product from the supplier and add it to AutoDS by clicking on add products and pasting the buy URL or ID, then adding it to my drafts page. I went to my drafts page, optimized the title, optimized the description a little bit, and I went to the variants over here to the variants column. The next thing that I'm going to do is you see this icon over here to copy. I'm going to click on that. You see here it says copy to clipboard. So I know that everything inside this variant was just copied to my clipboard. Now I can easily list it on Facebook. 
Let's see how that is done. So here is my Facebook Marketplace account, which I promised you guys, I will give you guys a glimpse. So here are some of the products that I'm selling. Let's get to that in a second. Right now we are creating a new listing. So I'm going to click on create new listing. Then I'm going to click on item for sale. Now, remember that I talked to you guys about the categories that you cannot drop ship, products that you should stay away from. If that is still lingering around in your minds, don't worry if you're a beginner, start adding products to your store, add those best sellers that I showed you guys, get it from any one of the suppliers. And if you're trying to import a product that is not allowed to be resold, AutoDS will give you a warning that something is wrong with this product, whether it's the manufacturer, whether it's the brand, or maybe it's a little keyword inside the product description, which isn't so important. You can just delete it and move on. But that will give you a much better idea of what you can and what you cannot drop ship. So pay attention to those error messages when you're importing products that you are not allowed to resell. And that should give you another layer of protection from knowing what you can and what you can sell and not worrying about importing products that you cannot resell. Now let's go back to this. So what we did was we went to the variant and we copied the variant settings after optimizing it on AutoDS. Now we want to list it on the Facebook marketplace. So we headed on to Facebook to the marketplace. We clicked on create new listing. And as you see here, we can start adding all of the listings properties. But instead of copying the title and moving all of the images and the prices and the description and everything else that comes along with it, that will take so much time. The only thing that I'm going to do is click this button over here, paste info from AutoDS. Now I'm just going to sit back wait a few seconds while all of the information is being transferred from AutoDS to the Facebook marketplace. Alrighty, so just a few seconds later and all of the products information was imported from AutoDS to the Facebook marketplace, as you can see over here. So we've got the optimized title and we've got the product's description, which does seem like it was spaced out in not such of a bad way. I'm definitely going to optimize that a little bit. But as you can see here, we've got the title, we've got the description, we've got all of the images that transferred from the supplier to AutoDS to the Facebook marketplace. You can add more photos if you see fit. So as you see here, we've got the title, we've got the price, which was also pulled from AutoDS. Now we're going to choose a category. We've got some categories that Facebook already recommended and it makes sense. Let's go with patio and garden. The condition is new, so I'm just going to leave it like that. The product description, I'm going to optimize it a little, a little bit just to get rid of all of those extra spaces that Facebook adds in just to make it look better for the customer. So if you look on the right side, you can see that slowly the product description is looking better and better. Continue deleting all of those empty spaces and make your listing look optimized so that your customers will know exactly what they're seeing. They, they'll know exactly what they're buying. It won't look amateur. It won't look unprofessional. It'll look like a real store or a, a real business that's trying to sell their products and high quality products at that. So fix all of this, make it look good. Continue scrolling down. Once you finish up with your product description, you can add more variants if you see fit. But at this point, we're not going to do that. There is no variations for this product anyway. Then fill in the rest of the information that was not filled in automatically. Like if you got a color, I don't recommend using any brand. So just keep it like that. You can write branded if you want or unknown. This way it'll make it harder for them to simply search for the same product using other suppliers. Most won't do it, but even those that do, it'll be much harder for them to do it now. Then your material and the SKU if you have it. And once you are done with that, you're going to click on next. Now here is something that's important to talk about the location. The location, you can use any location in the United States because what I just did was I took, I took a product from the US and I'm shipping it to the US. Now this is really important because on the Facebook marketplace, you want to ship out your products on time and that is up to three business days after getting your order. So once you get an order, you have three days to ship it out and just a couple more days after that to have it delivered to the customer. Take it up to one week, not any more than that. And the reason for that is because Facebook sends surveys to your buyers after they buy from your store and they ask them, how was it to buy from you? If you're going to get many negative reviews one after the other because you're not shipping out your products on time or the delivery is taking way too long because you're trying to drop ship from China to the US, for example, then your store is not going to last that long on the Facebook marketplace. But if the customers are getting their products on time, you're shipping it out in a timely manner and they're getting exactly what they ordered, your store is going to survive for a long time for the long term and you're going to make some great profits along the way. So dropship from the US to the US when it comes to the Facebook marketplace. Which suppliers to dropship from? I'm going to also get to that in just about a minute. We've got plenty and more than enough US suppliers to work with on AutoDS and we're always working on adding more. So once again dropship from the US to the US when it comes to the product location 
use any location in the US and the delivery method. This is the most important option because this option is going to have your listing available to more than 50 states when you have the shipping options enabled. If you don't have shipping options enabled, as you see here, I'm offering shipping and local pickup. You can choose shipping only. But what's important here is to make sure that you've got the shipping options available. And that is because once again, it's going to show your listings to 50 states. So, so many people are going to see your listing and so many people are going to be able to buy from you. If you don't have shipping options, that's probably because you're not located in the US. And as I've mentioned in the beginning of this video, you have to be located in the US, have a US IP address and have a social security number ready because once you hit $500 in sales, Facebook is going to ask for a social security number verification and you're going to have to pass that too if you want to keep selling on the Facebook marketplace. So shipping options so that many people will see your listing and that it will succeed in selling and you will make profits at the end of the day. Shipping method, you want to use your own shipping label. So make sure that you're going to click on use your own shipping label. Shipping rate is going to be free, free shipping for our buyers because we are drop shipping from places where shipping is either free and even if it's not free then in the pricing settings on AutoDS where I showed you guys a couple of minutes ago you have the option to include shipping price and that means that if your supplier is charging x for a product and another y for shipping AutoDS is going to combine those prices together and make sure that you're going to profit your 15 20 30 40 percent whatever you have set even with that shipping price so you'll always be able to offer free shipping and therefore in this case you're going to turn on free shipping for buyers okay so everything here is set we're going to click on next and last but not least facebook is asking you do you want to list this product to some of the buy and sell groups that we see that you joined and in other groups that we see that you haven't joined maybe you want to list that product there too so this is a great way to get more organic traffic more people to see your listing so i definitely recommend to add it to buy and sell groups so make sure that you read the rules before you join and once you join those groups, start listing that product in those groups too. And that way you'll simply get more people to see your listing. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to leave it as is. And right before I click on publish, I want to talk about this little drop down menu here for a sec because I didn't talk about it before. Right now, I don't have any products on this drop down menu. But what this means is if you have products on the AutoDS system, like we see over here, this is all the products that I have on my Facebook Marketplace store. But if I have products here, on my AutoDS menu, on my AutoDS screen, and I don't have them on the Facebook Marketplace, I will see that product here on the drop down. And what it's telling you is hey, we've got the product here on AutoDS, but we see that you don't have it on the Facebook Marketplace. So if you want to import that product, simply choose that product here from the drop down, paste the info from AutoDS, and we'll make sure to add the product from AutoDS to your Facebook Marketplace account. So that will simply help you synchronize your products and make sure that what you have on AutoDS, you also have on the Facebook Marketplace account. So that is how to find products from the Facebook Marketplace. Once again, 25 suppliers, millions and millions of products, simply add the best sellers. I showed you guys how to install the Facebook Dropshipping Helper extension. I showed you guys also how to use the AutoDS Helper extension if you want to import your products in just one click. Now let's go ahead and publish that product. So head back to Facebook. Everything here is correct. Of course, I'm going to optimize the description a little bit, but I just want to show you guys how it's going to be listed. So now I'm going to click on publish. Here are the steps once again. I found the product from one of my suppliers. I added it to AutoDS. On AutoDS, on the drafts page, I optimized the product's title, the description, and then I went to the variant settings and I copied the variant. 